How many of you remember this? It sounds insane. Well, it turns out we can take the heart and soul from this beautiful machine and plop it into something a little bit German, lighter. Excuse me. This is the GAC Maverick, and it is capable of, well, you've already seen the title, 1400 horsepower. I'm gonna be taking this wee wee little baby Cayman GT4 and slapping in that turbo V8 and seeing how we do. Look, I ain't no big Porsche guy. Okay, maybe I'm alive. Look, it ain't my fault. Over the years, Porsche has just been sounding more and more excited. Hey, is it because I'm getting old? Or is it because they're actually pretty good? And, you know, Porsche e-fuels, you know, saving the car in general might have something to do with it. Anyway, Porsche GT4 Cayman. It's fine. It does the job. But you know me, I like speed and power. And speed and power is more available on tap with a big old V8 motor. Also, this sounds kind of crap. Um, come on, generic. See, now the question is, is this just my copium because I have a Panamera, which is not a proper Porsche. It's got a big old twin turbo V8 in there and oh no, it can tow my skyline and oh no, it's, it's not a GT3 or a GT4. It's, it's none of them. But V8, big, big tow, two, two tons. Now this was suggested by a couple of people on the previous video, so a big thank you to you. Oh, look at that. It only just fits in the English countryside. British, ah, let's put a fucking V8 in it. It also is insane to me that this only costs 250,000. This genuinely may be one of the cheapest engine swaps ever. Have they missed a comma and a zero something? This isn't right. In what planet is 1400 horsepower from the go? <laughs> 250 grand. It makes no damn sense. This. This is insane. This may be the best value for, value for money car that you can get in the game. It might just break everything. I didn't know it existed. For I cannot, I'm so, wide body. Absolutely, get that thing wide. Hey, not a proper 911. You're not a 911. Get, <laughs> make it a little bit better. Listen, I'm sick. My brain's slow. <laughs> And I know how much people love when I put BBSs on every single car, so I'm gonna do the- I'm not. You already know. Listen, they look good. It's a nice contrast, new and old. Mixing and matching. How about we put some American racing wheels on here, yeah? Because we're going big old V8. And uh, that would be more fitting, right? No? You would rather the BBS? Oh, uh, that's interesting. Hey, these look pretty spicy, these spoon wheels. Uh, they don't suit the car, though. So we, had, we don't have much choice. <laughs> Give me more choices, Gran Turismo. Uh, hang on. Don't, don't show the screen. I'm totally not installing uh, BBS wheels. But this is indeed the first time I've customized a Cayman GT4. I, I, what, what purpose would I have to customize a Cayman GT4 normally? So we experience this together. Those exhaust tips are already spicy. We can go wingless or we can go for the custom wing. I'm going to go for the custom wing. We're going to make it large and we're going to be very proud with our sidey bits now i do stand corrected unfortunately we only start with 1200 horsepower and then we need to do some modifications to make it so that it has a little bit more still very good still extremely good it's still pretty damn insane i don't understand the pricing of this whatsoever what my assumption is is that it's going to completely ruin this car altogether we've already broken 1400 horsepower like does it become unusable i just can't comprehend on what planet why is this the cheapest engine swap that I think I've ever done in this game? I've done some pretty rubbish ones. <laughs> the final thing to do is the weight reduction. Th this always kind of excites me a little bit because this could completely change how the car performs. We've got a big old V8 in here and we are hopefully about to drop. Okay, we are, no, Rupert! We have 1400 horsepower and one ton in weight. Oh my God. Oh my God. What in God's name? The traction holding me well. I was kind of scared that it was going to just obliterate me straight away considering the absolute power of this thing and the lightness of it. But it's a Porsche. It's built properly. The ultimate Porsche. 
big old V8. How is it so casually just sat at 200 miles an hour? I'm breaking it. <laughs> I have never driven anything so fast, stable, and capable. Oh my god! I need to check how we just did because that might be the most ungodly fast thing I've ever driven in this game. All right, so we did a 39, all right? It was green all around. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what on God's earth? That is the most insane thing. I, uh, yeah, there's no question. I gotta do that again. There's just no way I can't not. <laughs> it's unbelievable. The problem is Gran Turismo's sense of speed is so crap. <laughs> that it looks like I'm doing about two miles an hour, but try 200. 150, 70, 80, 90, 200. Mate, remember the, the, the story of how the LFA, they had to go for... Digital dials, because the dials couldn't move fast enough, the analog ones, to keep up with the shifting and the speed. What about this? <laughs> Has Porsche created dials quick enough? Ignore the fact that they only say 3.30 and I'm definitely doing more than that. It's in bloody Euros. Just look at the speedo. Look at the speedo. Look at the everything. Look at the whole cluster system. As soon as I go to a straight, watch. <laughs> The speedo moves like RPM! Wait, how am I... How am I being done in? Keep six, keep six, keep six. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bugger that up. Whoa, whoa! No! Yes! I was still how far ahead? I need to do another lap. It's pretty rare for me to be like, again, again. Yes. Oh, we got a three eight. Again. I might be here for a while, folks. Please hold, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, maybe a two, bit too hot. Yes, yes. Come on, come on, cut the time. It's still a three eight, again. <laughs> yes. No! Again! <laughs> no! <laughs> Piss on it. Wow. I need to see how quick this thing is. I know. I, it, it, it's ridiculous. And genuinely maybe one of my favorite cars I've driven. Just out of the gate. No other tuning other than gearing, putting the power in, putting some good tires on it. It feels fantastic. Turn off traction control. That may have been doing a hell of a lot. All I did is turn it down one blip. Are you crazy? Let's see uh, how we launch. How many gears do you spin in? Four? Turbo? There's, a, there's another. Fourth gear, you might be okay. It's a very easy, quick 100 miles an hour, though, out of pissing nowhere, which is pretty interesting. Death. What about fifth gear? Oh, oh. She's stable at fifth. Holy. Whoa, whoa. Uh, let's see how quick it goes. <laughs> that genuine, I, I'm not even joking. That is by far the best engine swap I think we've ever done. It, it's, it's just no, no, no sense. There's no words I can put other than it is fucking stupid. <laughs> and it sounds incredible too. Let's put a 
W16 in there one day. That would be nice. Thank you, Gran Turismo. So there used to be a way, I saw someone in the comments in the previous video, to adjust the speed and press triangle to generate the, the actual stats. But as you'll be able to see, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, this has been a thing for a while now. They basically, when people started to glitch the speed and the class, oh my god, we... I haven't even touched upon the nosh yet. But people start to glitch the class of the, what's it, the really stupid quick, I want to say the Red Bull. It's not the Red Bull. The Tomahawk. When people started to mess with that, they basically just completely ripped apart any, <laughs> any useful system in this game. To start with, I've decided to put the car at a measly 280 mile an hour roof, like ceiling, because the fact that it speeds past 200 like this makes no damn sense whatsoever. That we wouldn't be able to hit. Holy shit. Holy shit. We're on the fucking straight. Like, we're not. What the fuck? Um. We're definitely gonna need to increase the speed. Okay, no, I need to. What was the fastest car? that we've built thus far. I think it was the Bugatti swap. So with this thing, the Corvette Bugatti swap, we got 340 miles an hour. Okay, that might be kind of difficult, but, <laughs> but I'm going to try. Setting this to 550 will get us around the same the same ceiling. We've got the nitrous, which we hadn't even touched yet. And what I really want to do, as if people have been telling me for the longest time, is to remove the wing. That would make sense on these, but I just normally, I'm like, I, maybe you give me a few more miles an hour, right? Maybe we test that theory. Let's keep the wing on, see how we do, take it off, and see if we have any real world improvement. Holy crap, I still can't believe how quickly this climbs to 200. It gets to 200 quicker than literally every other car. I'm gonna just shut up. You already know what I'm gonna say. So we've got six gears which unfortunately is not a lot. We also don't have the ultra high RPM turbocharger upgrade. It is definitely struggling now. She is definitely struggling. So the two options of the two things, we've got NOS to use, which we will be using. We've got the hill. 340 was definitely on the downhill. That is holding pretty steady. That is holding pretty steady. I've also just realized that I can't use NOS on a time trial. Oh. And shout out Gran Turismo, a six-star roulette ticket. Oh, mate, we are getting something good today. <laughs> Aston Martin Valkyries. <laughs> they have literally got nothing. There is nothing they can do. <laughs> Aston Martin in the bin. British boys, bugger off. Holy crap. All right. Let's get on this hill. Let's get this NOS going up to 280 already. Look how the tiny they are. They, they can do nothing. They can do nothing but sit there and lose to this beautiful GT4. And now we boost. Now we're definitely not going to get 340, but this is surely going to be one of the fastest 300. One of the fastest cars. For so little money, this total build probably costs like 400,000, 308 miles an hour. Holy crap. <laughs> There's only one thing left to do though, friends, and that's, well, ruin the race for the Valkyries first because that would be really funny, actually. Let's, let's quickly do that. They're taking so long to get here. They're so far behind. It's not even fair on them, obviously. Here we go. Oh, are they going to try and avoid me? Look at this AI. Look at this AI. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Forza Motorsport could never. <laughs> All right, let's take the wing off. Down in the comments, ladies and gents, do you think this will make a difference? And if, I mean, it's not really wingless, but oh, it looks so sexy though without the wing. Like it looks streamlined, like it's ready to put down the power. Let me know what, how, how fast do you think it's gonna be? Don't cheat, don't skip ahead. Tell me. Praise be to the traction control. Without thou, I would be in the bin. And so are these Valkyries. Look out, buddy. She's definitely a little bit wobbly. But we are already going a uh, few miles an hour quicker than we were before. 
against Gran Turismo. So it's a simulator theory. Ah, no, but like, I was like, oh, it's going to do a little bit more than... We definitely need to retest the Bugatti now. That's it. I've, I, I mean, the Corvette... T Corvetti. Here we go. We get to 300. She's wobbling. Stability, stability, stability. 308 to beat. 308 to beat. 310. 311. 312. There's your difference. 312 miles an hour in a Porsche GT4. I just pressed the handbrake. We're still doing over 300. I pressed the pissing handbrake in the middle of the road. <laughs> of course, if there was a gust of wind or... I lost my traction control. Shit. <laughs> it's like ice! It's like ice by comparison. Hey, you know what? That would have survived if I didn't, like, tap the wall a little bit. Pretty cool. <laughs> I love how just far. Here we go! Oh! They, the AI is way too good at avoiding me. I hit one. <laughs> one. Look how big it is in the back of Valkyrie. Is it? Spot the odd one out. <laughs> oh, blessed be the Porsche. Blessed be for e-fuels. <laughs> this might be my favorite engine swap. I know the Bugatti one is so much quicker, but... Please give me a Bugatti swap in like one of the, the uh, hurry up Gran Turismo, hurry up, next update. Yep. There is no damn way a six star roulette ticket is gonna let me down. Like sh the, the baseline has got to be like, give me that golf actually. Are you kidding me? I think I've got about 12 of these. Oh, for God's sake. I hope you have better luck with your six stars. Check out this video or this one. I don't, I don't know where I've put it. Can you help me find it? 